Here is the importance of this little cradle, of this second and last grotto, that God has given to humanity. It is necessary that you approach my second grotto because there will never be another again. A new era comes in this place revealed Jesus to Maria Giuseppina Norcia. The temple of God is in the heart of man, says Jesus. My church is made of souls and saints in flesh and blood, not of walls or precious frescoes, it is made of charity, love and sacrifice, that is closely linked to love, love gives itself, just as Jesus did, love goes to meet his brother, love saves, love gives life. That is why today, on this day, we all want to renew our heart, to make ourselves grotto, temple God's love, to bring Jesus to all the world, so that everyone today can pronounce the name of Jesus, today so many do not do it anymore, others only mention him to insult him, to attribute every guilt to him. Jesus is good, Jesus is goodness, and Jesus is love. Evil is the malignant and all his children, hiding behind an apparent halo of goodness to deceive consciences, do not be deceived, do not be overwhelmed by the prevailing deception which is alive in these times. Invoke the name of Jesus, and with sincerity of heart, call him. This is the meaning of Christian Christmas, of Christ's children. This is what we want to live today, talk about Jesus, wishing each other the good and the peace and love in Jesus, with Jesus, for Jesus, becoming a better person. Yes, to welcome the goodness made flesh, the baby Jesus, who here again has descended and lives in the heart of those who already have welcomed him and those who will welcome him with faith. This is our wish, mine and ours, as church, for all men and women women of goodwill, as well as for he who is already son, for all those who have at heart Jesus, who love Jesus, who don't want Jesus and his church becomes a kind of non-governmental organization that does everything and talks about everything, but Jesus. Who works hard to help many but who forgets about his brothers, the millions of Christians, who today are persecuted around the world, who are suffering and die to remain faithful to Jesus, who don't want to deny his love. To you brothers in Christ but today my thought, my and our prayer for the Christian churches can yes make nets, but to safeguard and defend primarily the life and rights of Jesus' children around the whole world. Many of whom today cannot freely celebrate Christmas because persecuted and oppressed. Today my thoughts, my prayers and also for all the suffering, the sick, for those who are alone and for all those who are disappointed, heartbroken these days, where apostasy is rampant and idolatry rules, where for so many Jesus seems to have forgotten them. To all of you I say, dear brothers in Christ, brothers and sisters in Christ, disappointed and bewildered, don't be discouraged, don't lose faith in Christ the Lord, Christ has not forgotten all of you, seek him with faith, Jesus is here, to those who open their heart he lets himself be found, come here to the little cradle of the baby Jesus and the divine child in his goodness will restore you. Come, God descended here to welcome you, love you and give you his infinite love, Jesus has not forgotten, when the world's ropes tighten, Jesus clings us even more to his sacred heart, don't doubt his love. Come and here you will meet him, to live with Jesus the heartfelt living communion of soul, of spirit and living the perennial eternal birth of Christ, Mary is the guide. The universal co-redemptrix is the star that leads us to the Savior.